Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of El Supercast. With us, once again, is the creator of Billy vs. Snake Man. You know, you have so many names. Hi folks, Eleven's fine. Alright. Eleven's fine. That's, that's what I told uh, the peeps over there at the village. Excellent, we we excellent. migrated to a different one, because, well, Ice decided it was time to step down. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, every internet community has its own name for each person. Figure 11 is the easiest to go by. All right. It's easy to spell because there's no letters. So, the first thing that I want to ask you is, how was your day one at Kineticon? Uh, well, it was super busy. Um, we scheduled a lot more people than we needed, but a lot of them dropped out. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the booth was a little light on help. Uh, but it was okay. Uh, con's really good. Uh, the dealer's room is has really wide aisles this year. Think like a dealer's room, but then take half the dealers out and just leave big empty spaces. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't a lot of crush, so that was really good. Uh, we did pretty good sales. Uh, we were surprised how much into our snacks people were, actually. We mm. generally don't sell a lot of snacks at this con. Mm -hmm. You know, like melon bread, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Except we pretty much we get it frozen, we just have it air shipped over, we thaw it out on the way here, and so it's fresh for the con. And it sold a lot better, and that's pretty neat. I mean it means that we can start bringing more fancy stuff in next year. Oh, yeah, I realize right now that this sounds a little, I'm like, I'm like economics, and it's boring. <laughs> but it was a big deal to us. We were like, wow, look at look at the rate at which our snacks sold. Uh -huh. But yeah, con was really good, uh, really good costumes, uh, really nice people. The the average age of people at Kinetocon seems to be getting older each year. I'd say four years ago, it was mostly kids' kids mm -hmm. uh, who were webcomic fans and that, and now it's come, become more of like a full con mm -hmm. with the whole age range, which is cool, lets you bring cooler stuff uh, and makes for a better con. So, let's get right down to business here. Let's talk about what everyone's hopefully here for. Yeah. Billy versus Snake Man. Yeah. It's been another year, my friend. It has. It has been another year. Uh, as a note to everyone out there who decides to start doing their own thing, uh, whether it's a business or a game or anything, try not to have more than one thing where the more work you, in, you put into it, the more you get out. Because then you always feel bad about not working on the other thing. Mm -hmm. um, the Heart of the Cards thing we did turned out really well. And it took a while to get the sketches out. But uh, all the domestic ones are out. And then... Um, What's it called? And then some of the international ones came back because I can't label things properly. But they're all on their way out again. Okay. Um, however, working on that and the store and Billy led to a lot of, I, I don't want to say fatigue, but it's, I'll work on Billy stuff and then I'll be like, oh, i got to get this thing done for the store because mm -hmm. otherwise this will mm -hmm. go bad. And then I do that and I feel bad about Billy and that. So Billy has not been progressing as fast as I'd like. Um, uh, I know it shows. Uh, however, things have been picked up in the past couple months. Um, I finally got over the hump, we'll say, of the other two things I've been working on. And um, I guess I'm days away from releasing the final part of Hero Quest, or Hero's Quest. Uh, it was actually supposed to come out right before the con, but we had one of our managers at the store get injured. And so the last Ouch. six hours, yeah, the la I felt so bad. Oh, I was so down in the dumps like Thursday because what was supposed to be, here's the picture, here's the stuff, here it is, was me writing this tearful, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't get it out in time. Here's all of my production notes. You can see exactly how it's supposed to work. It's just not on. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I do, well, the first thing we do when we get back from the con is unpack everything and then pass out for 24 hours. But yeah. after that, yeah. the first thing I'll do is I'll put up the, the, the prototype. So without the pretty pictures, all the Billy Club people can see what the game is like. It's kind of like a, a turn-based muso, you know, one versus a thousand, where you're a ninja and you fight against a bunch of bad guys, mm -hmm. and then when times get real tough, you turn into a kaiju and fight that way, and then back and forth. You swap back and forth. It's pretty cool. I really like it. I have a lot of fun playing it on paper with, like, dice and stuff. Nice. Um, so it should be good in the game, and then that'll be up real soon now. I mean, I just need to, to touch up the... the UI, I guess, is the word for it. Okay. To make it look fun, because mm -hmm. everything is text. So oh, yeah. Fun. Oh, yeah. you got to jazz it up so yeah. that uh, keep the fans happy. Yeah. So that's where that is. Um, as soon as that's out, I have a bunch of little things that I haven't put out, because I don't want to put a little thing out without mm -hmm. 
putting out something for Heroes Quest because I think that's like I feel like that's insulting people because they're all waiting for the new plot. But there's a, a lot of stuff. Something that came up came came up actually while I was in the store covering for employee, ticked off that I couldn't work on Billy was uh, retail, which is you just sit there and you put up with crappy customers and they get you angrier and angrier and then when your shift ends you take that anger and you like bl blow up a city block or, or like, I don't know, beat a bunch of fanboys to death. Uh -huh. Not to death because it's Billy. Yeah. But beat them to a pulp. And <laughs> the destruction that you, that you do from your rage uh, gets you items and stuff. So each customer that's in there there's specific, we'll say, bad guy ones. Mm -hmm. That'll be like, they pick up a, a DVD from the A's and they put it in the B's. And then you look at them more and they pick up something from the B's and they put it in the P's. And they pick it up from the P's and they put it in the Q's. And the more you watch that person, mm -hmm. the angrier your character will get. And so, and each one has its own name, like that's the shuffler. Okay. And everyone in it is non-fiction. They are really based on things that people really do in our store that tick me off. Mm -hmm. And so it'll feel cathartic for me to be like, this is what it's like. And I'm still working on the name <laughs> for it. Um, the retail part of it leads itself to be like, well, we're the only good store on this whole block, so we're the fair store. So this is the fair retail store. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so that's where the name is going to be going on it. But I'm waiting again, not touching anything until Heroes Quest is out. And then that's something I could code and launch in a day. And nice. then and then fix it later. Okay. My favorite way to work on Billy stuff, and that's horrible, is to do it, ship it out, and then fix it. Yeah. Um, although that isn't probably the nicest thing for a big game like Billy. Uh, it's fun, where fun can mean all sorts of things, mm -hmm. where, oh my god, I broke everything again. But we'll see. I like doing stuff that way. It'll feel good to get back to old times. All right. So there you go. Well, uh, I only have uh, one small request. Go ahead, dude. Uh, could we get another Ginyu Day for the peeps? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll tell you what. The um, We'll do the, let's see here, the launch of the retail thing. We'll have it be uh, Ginyu Appreciation Day at the store. So you can be one of the customers. So everyone, everyone can, uh, how about this? How about uh, it'll be a special Ginyu only day that that day of the month you'll be in the store doing interviews with people. All right. So people can't get through the aisles, and you're like, oh, he's still talking. Ah, oh, he's still talking. <laughs> so there you go. They build up the rage. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Although you're not doing it right now. This is yeah. awesome. So there you go. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, we'll go with that. I like that. All right. You heard it here f uh, first, First, folks. first, sure. Came up with it right now, so it's definitely first. So, yeah. Uh, you know, if you can work it in there, if you could have me, like, Walking around with like the box Gundam outfit, I think that yeah, would be hilarious. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, we'll talk after the, we'll, we'll talk after this via email. You can give me a list of things that you do that you think pe tick people off, and then we'll put them in. Yeah, the it'll be good stuff. Awesome. Thank you so much right, for your time. Man. All right, catch you later. Have a fun con. I'll see you guys around the supercast. All right. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.